Hello, fellow biologists. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of animal physiology. Have you ever wondered how animals survive and thrive in such diverse environments? Well, the secret lies in their remarkable ability to maintain a stable internal environment, a process called homeostasis. Imagine your body as a delicate balancing act, constantly adjusting to stay within a narrow range of conditions. Temperature, blood sugar levels, and water content are just a few examples of factors that need to be carefully regulated. Just like Goldilocks and the Three Bears, everything needs to be just right for an animal to function at its best. This internal balance is essential for survival. Too hot, and an animal risks overheating. Too cold, and its metabolism slows down. Too much sugar in the bloodstream can be damaging, while too little can lead to a lack of energy. Maintaining the right balance is crucial. But how do animals actually achieve this incredible feat of balance? It all comes down to their ability to detect changes in their internal environment and respond accordingly. This is where the stimulus response model comes into play. Think of it like a cause and effect relationship. A stimulus is any change that triggers a response. This could be a change in temperature, light intensity, or even the presence of a predator. The animal's body then reacts with a specific response to counteract the change and maintain stability. For instance, imagine a lizard basking in the sun. As the sun's rays warm its body, the lizard's internal temperature rises. This rise in temperature acts as a stimulus, triggering a response. The lizard may move to a shadier spot or change its body position to reduce heat absorption, thus regulating its body temperature. These stimulus response mechanisms are part of larger systems called feedback loops. These loops act like thermostats, monitoring conditions and making adjustments to maintain stability. There are two main types of feedback loops, negative and positive. Negative feedback loops are essential for maintaining homeostasis. They counteract deviations, like a tug of war that keeps things balanced. For example, when your body temperature rises, sensors detect this change. They send signals to produce sweat, cooling your body down. Positive feedback loops amplify the initial stimulus, pushing the system further. Childbirth is a classic example. As labor begins, the baby's head pushes against the cervix, causing contractions. These contractions intensify, leading to the birth of the child. Now, let's delve deeper into specific examples of homeostasis in action. One of the most critical aspects of maintaining a stable internal environment is regulating body temperature. Animals have evolved a fascinating array of adaptations to cope with varying temperatures in their surroundings. Some animals, like mammals and birds, are endotherms, commonly known as warm-blooded animals. These incredible creatures can generate their own heat internally, allowing them to maintain a relatively constant body temperature, regardless of the external environment. Other animals, like reptiles, amphibians and fish, are ectotherms, or cold-blooded animals. Their body temperature fluctuates with the surrounding environment. While they may not be able to generate their own heat internally, they have developed ingenious ways to regulate their temperature using external sources. Whether an animal is warm-blooded or cold-blooded, maintaining a suitable body temperature is crucial for their survival. Extreme temperatures can disrupt enzyme activity, affect metabolic rates, and even damage cells and tissues. Warm-blooded wonders mammals and birds keeping their cool. Mammals and birds, being endotherms, have evolved sophisticated mechanisms to maintain a stable internal temperature. They have a variety of physiological and behavioral adaptations that work together to keep them warm in cold environments and cool in hot ones. One of their key tools for temperature regulation is their metabolism. Metabolic processes generate heat as a byproduct and endotherms can adjust their metabolic rate to increase or decrease heat production. For instance, shivering in cold weather is a way to generate extra heat through muscle contractions. 
In addition to metabolic regulation, mammals and birds have developed specialized structures to help them conserve or dissipate heat. Fur, feathers, and a layer of fat called blubber act as insulation, trapping heat close to the body. When it's hot, they can pant, sweat, or even spread their wings to increase heat loss through evaporation. Cold-blooded champions. Reptiles and their sunbathing secrets. Unlike their warm-blooded counterparts, ectotherms rely heavily on external sources to regulate their body temperature. They have developed fascinating behavioral adaptations to take advantage of their surroundings and maintain a suitable internal temperature. One of the most well-known examples is basking. Reptiles, like lizards and snakes, are often seen basking in the sun to absorb heat and raise their body temperature. As their body warms up, their metabolism speeds up, allowing them to be more active and alert. When it gets too hot, ectotherms seek shade, burrow underground, or even submerge themselves in water to cool down. Some species, like desert-dwelling reptiles, have developed remarkable adaptations to cope with extreme heat, such as light-colored scales to reflect sunlight and the ability to excrete excess salt. Sweet balance. Managing blood sugar like a pro. Moving beyond temperature regulation, another crucial aspect of homeostasis is maintaining a stable blood glucose level. Glucose is the primary source of energy for cells, and keeping it within a narrow range is essential for optimal bodily functions. Just like a car needs the right amount of fuel to run smoothly, our cells need a constant supply of glucose. However, too much or too little glucose can be detrimental. High blood sugar, known as hyperglycemia, can damage blood vessels and organs over time. Low blood sugar, or hypoglycemia, can lead to weakness, confusion, and even loss of consciousness. To maintain this delicate balance, our bodies have evolved a sophisticated system of hormonal control, primarily regulated by the pancreas. This small but mighty organ secretes hormones that act like messengers, telling the body whether to store or release glucose. The pancreas produces two key hormones for blood glucose regulation, insulin and glucagon. These hormones work like a finely tuned thermostat to keep blood sugar levels healthy. Insulin unlocks cell doors, allowing glucose to enter for energy. After a meal, the pancreas releases insulin into the bloodstream. Insulin signals cells to absorb glucose, lowering blood sugar levels. Glucagon acts like a backup generator when blood sugar is low. The pancreas releases glucagon, signaling the liver to break down glycogen into glucose. This raises blood sugar levels, ensuring a steady glucose supply. Water is life. Maintaining the flow within. Just as important as regulating temperature and blood sugar is maintaining the body's water balance. Water is essential for life, making up a significant portion of our cells, tissues and bodily fluids. It acts as a solvent, a transport medium, and a key player in many vital chemical reactions. However, our bodies are constantly losing water through breathing, sweating, and waste removal. To maintain a healthy water balance, we need to replenish these losses by consuming fluids and eating water-rich foods. This constant intake and output of water is carefully regulated by our kidneys, a pair of bean-shaped organs located in the lower back. Water balance is crucial for maintaining blood volume, regulating blood pressure, and ensuring proper kidney function. Too much water can dilute electrolytes and disrupt cell function, while too little water can lead to dehydration, which can be life-threatening if not addressed promptly. The kidney crew, filtering and balancing fluids. The kidneys are the body's master regulators of water balance, working tirelessly to filter waste products from the blood and maintain the right amount of water and electrolytes in our system. Think of them as sophisticated filtration systems, removing toxins and excess fluids while retaining essential substances. As blood flows through the kidneys, it passes through millions of tiny filters called nephrons. These microscopic units act like sieves, 
separating waste products, excess water, and electrolytes from the blood. The filtered waste is then excreted from the body as urine. The kidneys are incredibly adaptable and can adjust the concentration of urine depending on the body's needs. When water levels are low, the kidneys conserve water by producing concentrated urine. Conversely, when water is abundant, they produce more dilute urine to eliminate excess fluids. From camels to cacti, amazing adaptations for water scarcity. Animals living in extreme environments like deserts have evolved remarkable adaptations to cope with water scarcity and maintain water balance in arid conditions. These adaptations often involve minimizing water loss and maximizing water retention. Camels, for instance, are renowned for their ability to survive for long periods without drinking water. They have numerous adaptations that allow them to conserve water, including the ability to tolerate significant fluctuations in body temperature, produce highly concentrated urine, and absorb water from their food more efficiently. Plants, too, have evolved ingenious strategies for surviving in water-scarce environments. Cacti, for example, have thick, fleshy stems that store water and spines that reduce water loss through transpiration. Their shallow root systems allow them to quickly absorb rainwater, while their waxy coating helps to seal in moisture. Homeostasis The key to a thriving planet From the smallest insects to the largest whales, all living organisms rely on homeostasis to survive and thrive in their respective environments. This intricate dance of balance and regulation is a testament to the power of evolution and the interconnectedness of life on Earth. As we've explored, the ability to maintain a stable internal environment is crucial for everything from regulating body temperature and blood sugar to balancing water levels and removing waste products. Without these finely tuned mechanisms, life is Want to rise to your full potential in your studies and revise like a boss? You can trust Study Guide today to have you covered. Subscribe to this channel and see our website linked in the description of this video to see revision articles to maximize your study gains.